What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, we are going to be opening up a veteran bundle. Yes, we are going to do eight packs here out of the veteran packs that were recently introduced into the game. They're actually only available for what? 24 minutes left at the time of this recording, so it's about 9 o'clock a.m. my time here in Minnesota. But uh, let's take a look at what we get in these here. It says in the veteran packs, it's a limited time only, like I said, but it, it's going to contain at least two gold or elite players and a mix of other or eight other player and team items. So that's actually a pretty good uh, ratio there if we get two golds per pack. Um, I've heard that people are pulling really great stuff out of this like some elite cards I would absolutely love to pull my first elite card in this pack bundle uh, Opening today guys, so I hope that we are able to do it We are gonna go ahead and hop into this right away here with an eight pack veteran bundle It's going to cost me 2,000 points So I am gonna need to put some money into the game which again guys I don't normally do but toward the beginning here of Madden Ultimate Team I need to put together some sort of a team so that we can start to do some wager games so We can start to play some head-to-head -head seasons games um, And potentially do some pink slips as well for you guys. So let's go ahead and purchase this 2,000 points All right, and we are back. It is time to open up these packs. Let's go, baby Let's open up something this time and oh and also we get a, a tournament topper. I forgot we will, uh, let's open that up like halfway through maybe. That might be, if I remember to do it, we'll see. All right, so first thing we get the Dolph Dolphins defense. Jason Kelsey is a center, not bad, 84 overall. Um, I don't know if he's gonna start on my team. I Let's take a look here, if I remember correctly. I think I've got Manny Ramirez in the middle. Okay, so Manny Ramirez is an 82, Jason Kelsey being an 84. He probably will start for me, but look at that strength. 77 strength, brutal. That is an awful number, but he does have better pass block. Well, actually, he has the same pass block, better run block, better acceleration for when he pulls, better impact block as well. So I'm going to have to think about that. That 77 strength gives me a lot of things to think about. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. We'll see. Let's keep moving on here. Another Dolphins item. This is the Dolphins Stadium. We open up that pa or the uh, stadium with the first item. Come on. Oh, Jeff Fisher, Ryan's favorite coach. And Lance Moore is our second gold card. So not a great pack here, but uh, Jason Kelsey is definitely good enough that he would probably be the guy who's going to start for me. So let's move on to the next pack. We get a Panthers playbook. Russell Okung has a left tackle. That's not too bad. Let's compare him to see what we've currently got in at left tackle. Uh, and right now I am starting Luke Jokel, so this is absolutely an upgrade for me. I will definitely be putting him into my lineup. It looks like they've got the same strength, uh, but he has got much better run block and much better pass block, so that is going to be significantly better for me in my offense, which is definitely uh, predicated on running the ball. So we are definitely going to go with that. I think Russell Okung should be a nice little improvement for me. So let's promote him to starter, unless it m lets me not do it. Nope, it did. Okay, great. So he is my starter now at left tackle. So that's the first card that we open up that is for sure going to be our starter. I don't know about that center yet. We'll see. And the final card, Kiko Alonso. Not too bad. Uh, Kiko Alonso had that epic golden ticket card last year. Um, let's see what we've got here at my current right outside linebacker position. Okay, so currently I'm starting Clay Matthews, so Kiko is probably not going to play there, but I might be able to find a spot for him somewhere else in my defense. Uh, I do like that he has that nice play recognition, and he is awesome in coverage too. 86 zone coverage, that is excellent, so very happy about that. He is somebody that I'm going to have to find a spot for in my defense, I think. Let's move on to uh, the next pack. Sorry about that, guys. Oops. I have to go back now to my uh, items. I always forget I have to be pressing square. I'm so used to just pressing circle and getting through it. All right, next pack. This is pack number six. Lions defense. Ryan Kerrigan, there we go. This, is, this should be a nice card, I think. Um, let's compare him to who I currently have out there. So right now I've got Junior Gallette. They're the same speed. But Ryan Kerrigan's got significantly better strength. I know that for sure he's going to be a better pass rusher as well. So that might be something that I need to think about if I'm going to run a 34 defense. With the personnel that I have with guys like Clay Matthews and Ryan Kerrigan, that might not be a bad idea. So I'm going to have to really think about that. But I definitely do like that Junior Gallette's got a lot better zone coverage. I usually like to use my linebackers in coverage more than other people do uh, to try and throw off the defenses. But I'll have to think about that. I... 
I'm thinking that I'm going to probably go with Ryan Kerrigan, but I'll have to think about it. Paul Warlow. Uh, ooh, Mark Tressman. I like him. Look at this. Look at Ricky Stanzi. Look at that glory hair. <laughs> All right. So Nick Roach is our other card. 72 middle linebacker. That's not really going to be that helpful for us. Let's go on to the next pack. David Fails. Aaron Dobson. I remember all the hype was on him last year. There we go, a Jadavian Clowney. I think Clowney is definitely a guy who I can find a, a place for on my defense. I don't know that he's going to be the starter. Oh, no, he's definitely going to be the starter. He's got 87 speed. I didn't realize that he had such high speed. Yeah, he is absolutely going to be the starter for me. Absolutely. And, and not to mention, he's a badass too. So we definitely like to see that. So yeah, Clowney is going to start for me. That's a nice pull. Definitely somebody who I can get into my lineup. See here what else we get oh philip rivers nice this is definitely the best quarterback i've pulled definitely the best quarterback that i've pulled now the thing is <laughs> compare him to who my actual starter is which is mike vick what do you guys think i'm gonna go with what do you think i'm gonna go with here 95 throw power 87 throw accuracy deep 89 speed 76 elusiveness versus 20 elusiveness <laughs> I think I might stick with Mike Vick here and see if I can sell Philip Rivers. I'm not exactly sure what he's worth right now, but uh, that's definitely a nice pull for sure. So that is my second gold card out of the pack. We don't really pull anything else of much value here, but definitely like that pack. That was a nice one for sure, getting Jadavion Clowney and Philip Rivers. So I said halfway through, I'm going to open up this tournament topper. I'm hoping to pull my dude BU Tweezy, but we'll see what we get here. Come on. All right, T-Raw. And Tweezy, that's what I'm talking about. Look at those Tweezy shorts. You can't even see them. That's how high they are. Tweezy's a beast, though. Both these guys are actually beasts. These are actually probably my two favorite guys um, that were in the tournament. So definitely uh, happy about those pulls. Look at this beast. <laughs> All right, next pack. All right, Marquise Pouncey as an 85 overall center. So I'm definitely pulling some centers. Uh, let's let's compare him real quickly here and I know that I've got I pulled that Kelsey card earlier So all right Marquise pouncey has got 92 strength. So I definitely like that uh, His pass block is a little bit better and his impact blocks a little bit better But his run block isn't quite as high now The only thing is is that as you guys know, I'm not really too worried about running up the middle typically I like to run to the outside so my center's run blocking is actually not as important to me as like my left tackle's run blocking and my right tackle. So I know that's contrary to what you would think based on what actually happens in the NFL, but that's the way that I typically play. Now I might need to adjust my play style for Madden 15. I haven't had much of an opportunity to play against people in head-to-head -head games, so I might need to adjust that, which is why I'm gonna try and keep both of these guys. But just based on what I've got currently, I think that Marquise Pouncey might be my guy. Uh, he's pretty much the same strength as Manny Ramirez, but quite a bit better speed for if he pulls. Acceleration way higher at 86. That's actually pretty good. Uh, his run blocking is about the same, 89 to 90, but his pass blocking is three better, and he's got way better impact blocking as well. So if he does end up pulling on any plays and he's going down the field to, to hit linebackers and cornerbacks and safeties, he's going to put them on their asses a lot better than Manny Ramirez as well. So... That might be something that I need to think about. Right now, I'm going to leave in Manny Ramirez, and I'll think about it over the next couple of uh, hours and days here. Okay, Dwayne Brown as an 85 left tackle. Not too bad. I know that I pulled the Russell Okung earlier, so let's see what we look at here between those two. Ah, the 84 run block. Uh, at first, I thought for sure I was going to make this change. Uh, between Dwayne Brown and Rus Russell Okung, but they've got the same impact block. Dwayne Brown's two better in pass blocking, but he's five worse in run blocking. I do not like that. He does have better speed, uh, which is uh, somewhat important, and 89 strength versus 86 strength. I think they're pretty close to one another, at least at, as far as these attributes that they show on the front of their cards. So... Uh, again, we'll have to think about it. I, I'm pulling a lot of decent cards, though. A lot of guys that are at least worth something uh, that aren't completely crap like I was pulling in my previous uh, bundle opening that I did. Chuck Pagano, Josh Thomas. I, I actually really like these Jaguars jerseys in the game, guys. I don't know if you've actually utilized them or not, but those, uh, those teal ones actually look pretty nice in the game. My first elite card! 
There it is, baby, Jordan Cameron, and I love using tight ends. That is the perfect pull for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome pull. I am very, very happy about that. That is the best pull that I've had so far in this game. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm talking about. 85 speed, 6 foot 5, 83 release, 91 catching, 85 catching traffic. Very, very nice tight end. That is a perfect card for my offense. He is 100% going into the lineup. Sit down, Martellus Bennett. The only thing you're better at is strength, dude. Everything else, well, I'd run block too, but everything else, Jordan Cameron's an absolute beast, man. Love it. I love it. He's definitely going to be promoted to my starter. That is an awesome pull. Very, very happy about that. That makes pretty much whatever else I pull in this. It doesn't even really matter, but we're still going to look to try and pull a couple other good things. I think my defensive tackle situation isn't very good. Let's let's see what I've got going on here. I almost just quick sold that. Let's see what else I've got going on in here. Linval Joseph, uh, not really that spectacular, but he is better than Brian Pickett. So mm, I don't think I don't think I'm going to make this change. Let's see about Cullen Jenkins here. Hmm. Now the power move is a lot higher for Colin Jenkins and that's really really important although Ryan Pickett does have better strength but that power move difference is brutal. Ryan Pickett basically can't do anything in pass rush. He is pretty much completely awful as a pass rusher. 60 speed, 68 power move, and 53 finesse move. That is awful. But uh, he does look like he's pretty decent as a run defender at least. So I'll have to think about that. Maybe I put him in in situations where I need a run defender. But I uh, can't really complain about that pack. Oh, dang it. I pressed that thing again. Okay. Let's see here. We've got two packs left. Here we go. Come on. Okay. Kawan Short. Let's compare him real quickly. I don't know what his numbers are like. Uh, pretty much the same type of thing. Not really great. Well, he does have 82 power moves, so he's at least better than Pickett was. But still not spectacular overall. Don't love that card. Not a great pull, not awful. I just can't get over how weird Paul McKeiston looks. Uh, he just looks like he looks like Sloth from the Goonies. I like he's just so ridiculous looking. Okay, Kendrick Lewis, I already have that that uh, item, so not really the best pull there. Okay, so we've got one more veteran pack left, guys. Let's see if we can open up one more elite card. Come on, one more elite card. Let's go. Let's go from the back this time. Come on. Okay, Brandon Pettigrew, not awful. Come on. Got one more gold card. This is it. Come on. Ah, oh, Ben Tate. Ben Tate's slow and awful, though. I still need to get a better running back. Although I am starting Chris Johnson now, so I do have, I think, an upgrade based on what I had before. So that's actually not so bad. But Ben Tate is... Uh, well, I guess he's 90 speed. That's actually better than I thought he was. I thought he would be more around this speed, like 85 speed. But when you compare him to Chris Johnson at 95 speed, who do you think I'm going to go with, guys? Who do you think I'm going to go with? Let's be honest here. Definitely love Chris Johnson, but oh man, that 85 trucking versus 40, or 88 trucking versus 45 trucking. That is significant, but at the same time, though, I got to go with my boy CJ2K. Rolled with him pretty much all of last year until I pulled Barry Sanders. And there, I think the tradition's probably going to continue in Madden 15. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for today's pack opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm pretty happy that I pulled that Jordan camera. I know it's not the best card that I could pull, but it's my first elite, so I'm very happy about that. Got him into the starting lineup, so we are going to start utilizing him in the passing game. And uh, hopefully we can continue to advance this team, make it a little bit better. I'm still only an 80 overall, which is not very good, as I know. Uh, I'm sure almost everybody who's watching this video has a better team than me already. But we're going to keep trying to improve it. We're going to see if we can get into some head-to-head -head games and potentially maybe do some wagers down the road here as I continue to improve my team. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Ask me any questions that you guys want as far as Madden 15 goes. If you want me to, me to do any videos or anything in specific, let me know in the comments section as well and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i would greatly appreciate it thank you guys for tuning in i do appreciate that as well thank you again thank you thank you thank you and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon